This is a uh, 1975 Cadillac Fleetwood uh, factory limousine. It was uh, Bud McDougall's, I believe his last Cadillac. It was part of the donation of the McDougall collection to the Canadian Automotive Museum. Um, currently it's just between storage facilities. We don't have room to display it right now. Because this limo was stretched right in the factory, there's no compromise when it comes to comfort and handling, even by today's standards. Even a regular Cadillac at that point in time was a huge car. But this car has air suspension. If you probably can see the back looks kind of low, uh, it, does, it does ride pretty smoothly. You get that much weight, it has to ride pretty smoothly. Well, this one has the divider window between the, the driver and the back seat, and it has the, the front seat that induces the driver to sit up straight. It's very straight and leather. Um, radio controls are in the back seat. There are two air conditioners in the back and one in the front. It's, it has jump seats as well. You seat extra people in it. Yes, the 1975 Cadillac limo was certainly comfortable, for the passengers, that is. <laughs> the same can't be said for the person behind the wheel. You can probably notice that the, the driver sits very upright in, in this particular seat, and that is typical of a um, chauffeur-driven limousine. Uh, many Rolls Royces that have driven are even much more vertical in their seat, and uh, if you ever notice pictures of uh, chauffeurs driving their cars, they always look so much at attention and very attentive. Well, they're, they're basically forced to sit that way. <laughs> it's supposed to look comfortable. It's a 500 cubic inch um, engine with a conventional driveline. It's a turbo 400 transmission in them. They were a very well-built car. They, as with most cars, particularly in those periods, they were prone to rust. But this car has spent a, well, all of its life inside and a good deal of its life in the winter in Florida. So it has had a pretty good, pretty good life, really. The standard Cadillac hood ornament is the, the wreath with the little Cadillac emblem in it. And Mr. McDougall, on all of his cars, had uh, a, a sterling silver horse with a hand-painted jockey that would screw on. There's a little screw here and it was removable because it was pretty vulnerable to be swiped. And sadly, we didn't get the one with this car. But this is the base that is mounted on most of the cars for that. I imagine the majority of the production would be in a commercial field, more like funeral homes and government operations, limousine companies, and the odd wealthy person. It was definitely a chauffeur-driven car. It was not a car you would drive yourself.